A new study found that job seekers with a southern accent could make less money than people without one, and stocks will digest the debt ceiling agreement reached over the weekend. So Jane King is at the NASDAQ market site with those stories and more in today's Morning Business Report. Good morning. Stocks are positive as President Biden and House Majority Leader Kevin McCarthy reached an agreement to raise the debt ceiling and avoid a default over the weekend. The long negotiations between the White House and congressional leaders raised concern among investors that a default on U.S. debt could be possible. Now, Wall Street has already contended with persistent inflation and a banking crisis this year. Well, Consumer Reports says by now, pay later providers could do a better job protecting consumers. Consumer Reports determined that six of the eight BNPL providers have no notice to users of changes to the terms and conditions of service. Among the providers evaluated, PayPal provided the most comprehensive fraud protection, while Afterpay and Klarna stood out for their commitments to guard against fraud and to alert users of suspicious transactions. Stocks rallied Friday on hopes of a debt ceiling deal. The Nasdaq had its fifth straight week of gains. And restaurants expect strong sales this summer, but consumers aren't so sure. Last year, restaurant sales in May, June, and July were as higher gas prices and concerns about the economy weighed on consumers. Roughly a third of consumers surveyed by Data Essential plan to dine out less over the next month. And according to a study by the University of Chicago and the University of Munich, people with a southern accent can lose out on thousands of dollars per year. The research revealed that people with strong regional accents face a wage penalty of up to 20 percent compared with those who speak with a standard accent. From the NASDAQ market site, I'm Jane King with your Morning Business Report.